Hello, everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. What a joy it is. How grateful I am to have the time of the Word of God, and not only for myself, but for you as well. And I know God is hes always excited when we take the time to read what He has written to us. It's His love letter to us, and He wants us to know Him and His Son, Jesus, and His ways, and He wants us to know He's for us and not against us. And so as we study His Word, that's what we're learning. We're learning that Jesus had an intentional way of being about saving mankind, of which we're a part. And so we always go to him in prayer as we begin our studies because we realize the Holy Spirit is our true teacher. So let's pray uh, to the Lord today. Heavenly Father, what a joy. Ah, oh, with exuberance we come to your word. You're teaching us so much through this Gospel of John. And Lord, we're excited that again we get to read your word, study your word, and also to have your Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth and to empower us to live according to that truth. We just want to bless you today, Lord. We give you thanks and praise for giving this to us, and we do so in Jesus' name. Amen. The title to today's lesson is Many Resorting to Jesus. It's taken from the book of John, chapter 10, and verse 41. John the Apostle wrote how Jesus went away again beyond Jordan into the place where John at first baptized. And there he abode. And in chapter 10 and verse 41 of his book, John shared how many resorted unto him, where we read, And many resorted unto him, and said, John did no miracle. But all things that John spoke of this man were true. The verse reads, And many resorted unto him, and said, John did no miracle. John began with the words, and many resorted unto him, which means, and a great number of people arose, appeared, and came forth to Jesus, and said, or, and uttered, declared, and proclaimed, John did no miracle, which means John the Baptist, whose name means Jehovah is a gracious giver, did not perform, produce, or make ready any supernatural wonder, sign, mark, or token. John shared how a lot of people came to Jesus and declared that John the Baptist performed no supernatural wonder among them. The verse continues, but all things that John spoke of this man were true. John added the words, but all things, which means, however, nonetheless, notwithstanding, and moreover, each, every, the whole, and everything that John spoke of this man, or that John the Baptist declared, proclaimed, and uttered concerning this male human being, were true, which means existed as truthful. John shared how the people who gathered said everything John the Baptist declared about Jesus was truthful. When we meditate upon John's words in this verse, we learn how a large group of people gathered themselves unto Jesus when he arrived in the area where John the Baptist had baptized people. They knew John the Baptist and that he performed no supernatural wonder among them. They also knew how John the Baptist told them about Jesus and everything he said was true. Jesus came into the world to save people from their sins, and the miracles he performed bore witness to the fact that he is God's Son and Messiah. Those who are wise will examine John the Baptist's words concerning Jesus, and when they discover Jesus is the Christ of God, they should yield their lives to him as their personal Savior and Lord. Next time, John shares how many believed on him there. So read ahead, and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word. In Jesus' name.